Meanwhile, the cleanup continues as we look to what the weekend weather has in store. Plus, it wasn't only cars and trucks having troubles on the road today, with dozens of city buses also stuck spinning the tires. And later, the Canadian Pacific holiday train rolling through southern Wisconsin tonight. We'll have a live report straight ahead. That's all coming up right now on News 3 Now at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm McKenna Alexander. The snowfall coming to an end this evening. That's allowing the city to catch up after some blizzard like conditions this morning and afternoon. All sorts of problems were caused by this storm. In Madison, a jackknife semi and at least two other vehicles blocked a ramp at the I-39-9094 interchange for around two hours. Luckily, no injuries have been reported there. And the state patrol saying troopers responded to more than 30 crashes today, along with 61 calls to assist drivers, the majority of those being vehicle runoffs. So let's see what's in store for the rest of tonight. Chief Meteorologist Gary Knolte has our first worn forecast. Gary, any more snow headaches coming our way? No, uh, right now we've just got a couple of flakes of snow falling in the backyard along with a little bit of drizzle, but temperatures are above freezing and that's leading to fog across parts of southern Wisconsin. The time lapse from the WIC TV sky cam early this morning, that's not fog, that is snow that was coming down pretty hard for a, a short period of time, but as time went on, the snow lightened up or just tapered to some flurries and then uh, it was mainly some fog and drizzle that was left over for the rest of the afternoon into the evening. You can see on Doppler track there's not much in the way of precipitation. Some of that is aloft and it could be a couple of flakes of snow, mostly drizzle or freezing drizzle and that's really not picked up very well by radar. But the fog, uh, you can determine that by looking at the airport visibilities. Here in Madison still six mile visibility but uh, a little lower visibilities to the east and also out to the west toward the Mississippi River. In fact, the National Weather Service has issued an fog advisory till 10 a.m. for much of eastern Iowa. Current temperatures are just above freezing in Madison and areas to the south. That's keeping precipitation in the form of drizzle, but to the north, temperatures are right around freezing and there could be some freezing drizzle there as well. So in Dane County right now, we're just above freezing. 33 in Middleton, Madison, McFarland, and also in Sun Prairie. Look for mostly cloudy skies, areas of fog overnight along with some drizzle or freezing drizzle where temperatures drop below freezing. We've been seeing our temperatures steady in the evening and they're not going to change overnight, mostly uh, in the middle 30s, right around 34 degrees through tomorrow morning. Later on, I'll take a look at a forecast that does include some accumulating snow as we head into the middle part of next week. All right, thanks, Gary. When it comes to cleaning up today's storm, the city's plow crews will be out clearing all of the streets, given more than three inches of snow accumulated. They started overnight and will likely continue into tomorrow morning. Because of this, snow emergency parking rules will be in place Saturday and Sunday evenings. Cars weren't the only ones you might have seen stuck on the roads today, as the city of Madison's Metro Transit reported dozens of buses stuck in the snow or in traffic, causing delays for public transportation riders. Our Armand Ramon explains. If you woke up and thought, I'm going to save myself the trouble of driving in the snow and take the bus today, odds are you may have had some regrets. Metro Transit officials counted about 20 buses stuck in snow at their peak. Um, that doesn't even count the ones stuck in traffic, just traffic jams. Most of our buses got stuck due to um, hills. Um, observatory Drive was a, was a challenge for us today, so we were rerouting some of those routes that um, are on hilly areas. While hilly routes are just a problem buses have to deal with every winter, officials say one way residents who live near bus stops can help is be mindful of where they park. Making it harder to get out, um, sometimes when you're not even parked in a bus stop, just parked near one, um, when the snow comes, it, it, it affects it. And if you find yourself needing public transportation on days like today, you can track your bus in real time and plan your route on the Metro Transit website. Otherwise, they just ask for your patience. We are not immune to snowstorms um, any more than any other traffic is. So when snow happens, there will be delays. Transit officials add, if you ever feel your usual bus stop isn't safe, don't trudge up a snowy hill or stand in ice. Instead, find a safe place to wait and flag down your driver. And a quick reminder for home and property owners in Madison. City officials say the snow that fell today must be cleared from public sidewalks by noon tomorrow, adding that prompt removal is always in everyone's best interest. Next tonight, a devastating fire today in Watertown, claiming the lives of three people. Police and fire responded to the home on Western Avenue a little after noon today, but when crews arrived, the house was already engulfed in flames. Officials say the intense heat and smoke kept fire crews from being able to go inside. There's been no word yet on what caused this fire. 
More students may be coming to Wisconsin for college. At least that's the goal of a newly launched tuition program throughout the University of Wisconsin system. While at UW-Madison saw record enrollment rates this year, that wasn't the case for some smaller campuses, as overall UW system enrollment fell 10% between 2010 and 2021. And that issue is expected to grow now that the state of Illinois has pulled out of the Midwest Student Exchange Program, a tuition discount program that typically brings thousands to the Badger State. During a UW Board of Regents meeting yesterday, board members approved the non-resident Midwest tuition rate. The program will begin in the 2023-2024 school year for all UW students from Midwestern states. That rate will be 150% of the cost paid by students from Wisconsin, but board members say that may increase or decrease depending on how the first year goes. This new initiative doesn't affect the current tuition reciprocity agreement between Wisconsin and Minnesota or the existing existing tuition agreements through the Midwestern Student Exchange Program. Brittany Greiner is back on U.S. soil after being released from Russia in a prisoner swap. She arrived in San Antonio, Texas this morning, ending the WNBA basketball star's nearly 10-month ordeal. The two-time Olympic gold medalist was arrested in Moscow in February on a drug possession charge. She was exchanged in a prisoner swap for notorious Russian arms dealer Victor Boot. Meanwhile, former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan remains jailed in Russia after the Biden administration's efforts to also free him failed. It was uh, either Brittany uh, or no one. That was the option that we were, were given. The president will never give up. The hostile, weak foreign nations taking Americans prisoner and holding them as hostages. Uh, this has to stop and my brother needs to come home. Russian President Vladimir Putin says the prisoner swap involved compromises, but that more trades are possible in the future. The U.S. is providing more financial help to Ukraine. Today, the Pentagon announced it's sending an additional $275 million in security assistance to the country as it continues to fight the Russian invasion. U.S. officials say this military aid package will boost Ukraine's air defenses as well as provide critical equipment for the battlefield. Among the capabilities provided in the package, ammunition for high mobility artillery rocket systems and artillery rounds. In California, a landslide in Palos Verdes Estates was caught on video this morning as the L.A. County Fire Department was responding to the scene for a public assist call. A news helicopter was over the area just as that cliff gave way, crashing with rocks crashing onto the beach below near a lifeguard station and a parked truck. L.A. Fire reports no injuries and an initial evaluation claims there are no threats to any other properties. In health news tonight, flu cases are on the rise. As CDC experts say, they've seen the virus spiking since Thanksgiving. The agency also reporting that more than a third of all flu hospitalizations and deaths this season happened in just the past week. Overall, the flu has sickened more than 13 million Americans and has led to 120,000 hospitalizations and 7,300 deaths. The amount of flu reported so far this year already has surpassed the number of flu cases recorded last year. Masks might be back this winter, with some of the nation's leading health experts encouraging people to put their face masks back on. But this time, it's not just because of COVID-19. Flu, RSV, and COVID-19 all impacting the nation this holiday season. So because of this, health officials are urging people to take precautions to protect themselves, and that includes masks and vaccinations. A holiday tradition is making its way around the U.S. again this year. Tonight, the Canada Pacific holiday train is back on the tracks in Columbus. Columbus, where we find our Armand Ronan live there right now. Armand? <laughs> yeah, McKenna, I still got the music in me. They ended tonight with the Queen of Christmas, Mariah Carey, and the hundreds of people from across Wisconsin that were gathered here at the Amtrak location. They were just grooving along as that holiday train came back for its first in-person concert in two years. And uh, a quick concert it was, but it brought more than just smiles. They presented a $2,500 check to the Columbus Fall River Food Pantry. Now, every year the holiday train shows are free to attend, but Canadian Pacific asks attendees to bring a cash or non-perishable food donation for local food shelves. Now, there's still time to get a taste of the holidays. The holiday train will be making a stop in Portage around 1.15 tomorrow. The Dells right after that, and then all the way to its last stop for the day tomorrow in La Crosse around 8.30. For now, live in Columbus, Wisconsin, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now.
Armand reporting live tonight and having a lot of fun while doing so. Thanks, Armand. Looking ahead now, this is a big weekend for NASA as the Artemis 1 mission is set to come to a close. The Orion capsule is scheduled to splash back down to Earth on Sunday, marking the end of its 26-day journey. This week, crews were out conducting recovery training exercises off the coast of San Diego into the Pacific Ocean. The recovery will last approximately six hours. And NASA is already getting ready for the Artemis 2 mission. The massive mobile launcher is being sent back to its vehicle assembly building at the Kennedy Space Station in need of some repairs from the first launch, which was expected. So far, no launch date has been announced for its second mission. And more local news now, if you're wondering why I'm at the Anchor Desk tonight, it's because Charlotte and Eric were a little busy this evening at the annual Geo's Garden Holiday Party. It's a yearly opportunity to raise money and celebrate the work done at the local nonprofit. All of the proceeds help Geo's Garden serve the families of children with special needs in the Madison area. And at last check, more than $100,000 have been raised so far. Absolutely incredible there. Still to come tonight, it's not too late to catch big holiday deals. We'll have some specific dates that retail experts say you could save money. Plus, a meteorologist Gary Canalti will rejoin us with his full weekend forecast when we come back. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. From Wisconsin with love. of things is evolving creating the internet of you and spectrum america's leading internet provider is bringing you seamless connectivity across all your devices introducing spectrum one spectrum internet with speeds of 300 megabits advanced wi-fi and spectrum mobile unlimited all for just 49.99 a month call 833-673-4999 spectrum internet delivers the fastest speeds in the nation for smoother surfing streaming gaming and more advanced wi-fi provides enhanced security and privacy that automatically blocks threats to protect all of your devices. And Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data with reliable nationwide 5G coast to coast. Switch now. Call 833-673-4999. At Spectrum, it's not just about connecting things. It's about connecting you. Get it all with Spectrum One, Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. After a lifetime in the jewelry business, Pete Dinney is retiring, and Dinney's Jewelers Retirement Sale is in progress. Save up to 60% off store-wide. All must go. All bridal jewelry, all colored stone rings, all silver jewelry, all pearls, all diamond bracelets, and pendants. Absolutely every finished piece is up to 60% off. Pete Dinney and family are saying thank you, Middleton, for 40 years of support. Join us for our retirement celebration. Pete Dinney is retiring, and Dinney's Jewelry Retirement Sale is in progress. Save up to 60% off. All must go. 1903 Cayuga Street, Middleton. wanted you to come back to The Voice, not start your own freaking talk show. Hello, please welcome James Corden. And what do I consider myself? Lucky. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. According to Forbes magazine, billionaire Tesla and Twitter CEO Elon Musk is no longer the world's richest person. The number one spot now occupied by Bernard Arnault, CEO of French luxury brand LVMH. That's the company behind Louis Vuitton Luxury Goods and Hennessy. According to Forbes, Musk is now worth $183.6 billion, just below Arnault's estimated $186.2 billion.
A, a new Alexa feature is giving people an easy way to show appreciation to Amazon drivers. By telling the device that thank my driver, that driver will also get a $5 tip paid for by Amazon. Amazon will continue paying those $5 tips until a total of $1 million is spent. And the five drivers who get the most thank yous during that period will also get $10,000 plus another $10,000 for charity of their choice. The clock is ticking for holiday shoppers. If you missed out on those Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. Experts say don't worry, it's not too late. Jared Hill has a look at some specific dates to keep in mind if you're looking to save. Tis the season to be saving, or at least trying to. How much of your shopping list is done? Um, actually just getting, no, really, just getting started. Black Friday and Cyber Monday are known for blockbuster deals. I didn't do any of the Cyber Monday stuff that everybody told me all the deals that they were getting, and I totally felt like I missed out. A lot of people kind of have this fear of missing out. But Kyle James from Rather Be Shopping says, depending on what's on your list. There's actually some days in December where you can actually get better deals uh, than you can on Black Friday. After tracking December deals for nearly two decades, here's what he found. On December 10th, expect discounts on laptops and toys. The 12th through the 15th are good for sales on video games and consoles. December 14th is the day many retailers offer free shipping by Christmas Eve, often with deals on clothes, shoes, and kitchen items. There are ways to save on top of the discounts. Many retailers offer coupon codes online that you can use at checkout. A retail me not, they have a really good app. When you're checking out, always try and find that coupon to add on top of it. James says many stores continue to cut prices right up to Christmas, so waiting could be worth it. But the hottest toys and video games could sell out. If you find it at a good price, you probably want to snatch it up. So if you wait, you might not end up having to go on eBay and spending way more than you should. Not ideal, with inflation already pushing prices higher than last holiday season. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. If you're looking for a new TV and can wait until after the holidays, James says you could find some good deals around late January and early February, especially if you want something a little more high-end. Someone with very deep pockets has a new conversation piece to display. A Tyrannosaurus Rex Skull Maximus was just sold for $6.1 million today. The opening offer started at $1 million, with auction officials saying four bidders battled it out for about six minutes before the top offer was secured. No information about the buyer has been released. I bet if they had waited a little bit, they could have got it for, what, $5 million? Yeah. Right at, probably after the holidays. Six minutes, but yeah, you know, just gotta wait. <laughs> Six million dollars for, for a T-Rex skull. Well, I mean, how many people can say they have a T-Rex skull? That's true. I would have paid big money to shovel my driveway today. <laughs> I think we all would. Yeah, that would have uh, been money better spent, I think. Uh, snow, snowfall reports as of mid-afternoon when most of the accumulating snow was over with. Uh, generally, we're higher to the west of Madison. Seven and a half inches in Mount Sterling and Crawford County. Uh, six and a half inches in Mount Horeb. Uh, here at the station, five and a half inches and the airport picked up a little over four inches of snow and the amounts tapered off to about three inches in the eastern portion of Jefferson County. Right now, we're just looking at some flurries that are might might be showing up on radar. Most of this is just either a loft or it's drizzle or freezing drizzle. A little wider perspective shows the snow that we had this afternoon now racing eastward and is north of Detroit, Michigan. But fog may become the problem because we've got widespread snow cover now. Several inches of snow over southern Wisconsin from from our storm system and temperatures are just above freezing so we continue to melt that snow slowly if you go outside and you pick it up it's still wet and moist so as that moisture gets into the atmosphere and starts to cool we start to see some fog form north of madison temperatures are a little bit colder by a degree or two that might be cold enough for some freezing drizzle so keep that in mind too with the fog right now six mile visibility in madison and five miles in milwaukee starting to get a little thicker close to the mississippi river two and a half miles uh, the visibility in Dubuque, Iowa, and the National Weather Service has issued dense fog advisories for much of eastern Iowa and parts of west central Illinois through mid-morning tomorrow. Three things you need to know in our forecast. We'll see that fog through the weekend. Not particularly widespread and dense all the time, but it'll be there. And some drizzle or even some freezing drizzle where temperatures drop below freezing, a possibility. Next chance of snow now looks like it'll be Wednesday night into Thursday and could bring some minor snow accumulations. Before that happens, we'll start to melt some of the snow that we have on the ground because 
is temperatures will be above freezing every day. And then after that system midweek, we'll see those temperatures drop off into the upper 20s as we head into next weekend. Future track snowfall potential from the European computer model shows about a two to four inch snowfall across southern Wisconsin. Uh, the GFS computer model from the U.S. government shows a more significant snowstorm to our north and west and the tail end of it, giving us a couple of inches of snow here. So again, it's possible we could get some minor snow accumulations, but whatever falls then is probably going to stick around through Christmas because temperatures are going to be on the cold side. In fact, the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook taking us up to uh, December 22nd calls for below normal uh, temperatures through most of the country. So uh, we'll be looking at temperatures here most likely in the 20s. For tomorrow, fog, drizzle, perhaps a rain or snow shower late in the afternoon with a high temperature of 37 degrees. Planning your day for tomorrow, 37 for the high in Middleton, 38 in Mount Vernon, and 37 for the high in uh, Wanakee up to the north. And then we're looking for temperatures mainly in the upper 30s across all of southern Wisconsin, 36 for the high in Prairie du Chien, 35 in Baraboo, uh, and again, it's rain snow shower chance in the afternoon. Sunday, we'll see some fog in the morning. Monday, just cloudy, but then Tuesday, we see a mixture of rain and snow late in the day. It'll be windy. That'll change to rain on Wednesday with a high of 40, and then as we turn colder Wednesday night, some light snow from Wednesday night into Thursday. That's where we could see that snow accumulation. Following that, temperatures drop. Upper 20s for highs, nighttime low temperatures in the teens by next weekend. And coming up in sports, the Badger women added another win to their record. How Wisconsin skated past Minnesota State with ease. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We all share the same roads, but when an accident happens, we don't always share the same consequences. Gruber Law Offices has been fighting and winning for people injured by big trucks for more than 30 years. One call, that's all. Clean, safe, fun. I was hoping daytime care for mom would be like that. Oh, Grace's new center is so nice. <laughs> now, caring for mom is so much easier. It's easier to manage my chemo side effects since a Grace supportive care came to see me. It was a Grace, but it wasn't hospice. hospice. When you're ready for hospice, you want a Grace. They helped make my dad's last weeks comfortable, calm. It was beautiful. A Grace, caring every step of the way. Find your style with Patriot Lighting at Menards. Shop our huge selection and add personality to match your decor. Patriot Lighting carries unique lighting fixtures for both inside and out. Visit Menards and check out our massive lighting showroom today. And choose from over 1,000 different fixtures to light up every area in your house. Save big money with Patriot Lighting at Menards. Plus, get a Menards gift card. The perfect gift this season. attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call right now to find out if you qualify. Call 1-800-336-0524. 1-800-336-0524. Hey, thanks for working through the holidays. Clara, Dad says you're working over Christmas. Here you go, Mrs. Parson. Let me pay you. No, you're not going to pay me. We are the helping. Aidakum Said. Vesawik Shyont. Mabuhai. Nawad. Iyo barwako. Felices fiestas. No matter how it's said, happy holidays from your friends at Groover Law Offices.
Saturday night, Wisconsin will play in their eighth, fifth straight Elite Eight, and they haven't lost since September 25th, and are closing in on the program's first ever undefeated season at the Fieldhouse. Now, if you ask Kelly Sheffield how they've done it this year, he'd say his team doesn't play a pretty style of volleyball. They're gutsy, gritty, and resilient, and Sheffield wouldn't want it any other way. It's the Wisconsin way, the, the uh, just getting in the, in the mud and, and, and fighting and scrapping. And, and uh, that's the personality that this team has become. To win three sets uh, against us is it's going to it's it's going to take a, a, a really good effort. It's going to take somebody that just is, is, you know, as fearless as what this group has turned out to be. The next game on the schedule is the most important one. It's Greg Gard's mantra, and it's worked. That tunnel vision has the Badgers off to a 7-2 start, including a 1-0 record in the Big Ten. Sunday, though, is a big one, and not just because it's their next game. It's Wisconsin and Iowa in Iowa City, a place where UW hasn't won since November 30th of 2018. Now, the Badgers know Carver Hawkeye Arena is going to be loud, and it's also one that they can't wait to try in silence. Oh, I love it. I mean, Iowa fans, I'm not really too fond of, so we'll see. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited. Brad kind of taught me that last year, going into those away games and winning. There's no no better feeling than that. And then we played there my freshman year, and um, there was no it was cardboard cutout, so I haven't really played there ever in my career. So it should be a lot of fun. High school boys hoops, Stoughton and Monroe playing for the final time as Badger Conference foes. Vikings got off to a hot start. LaShawn Brown. Dials went up from deep, part of a 20 to nothing run for Stoughton to start the game. Monroe would find their groove and start to chip away. Taylor Herbst connects from distance. Vikings, though, wouldn't be denied. They made 18 triples tonight and were also big on the boards. Mason Richter gets the rebound and the putback. Stoughton stays perfect with a 73-56 win. Big one in the Badger East on the girls' side. DeForest hosting Beaver Dam. Norskis jumped out to an early lead. Jada, uh, Jada Killerher spots up and splashes home the three from the corner to make it a four-point game. But Gabby Wilkie kept the Golden Beavers in it. First, she gets the circus shot to fall on the paint. And then later in the half, Wilkie shows off her range. Beaver Dam tops DeForest 49-46. to the Wisconsin women's hockey team back on the road this week and back in Minnesota for a series against Minnesota State before the second-ranked Badgers have two weeks off. All-time series between the two, 95 wins for the Badgers, three for the Mavericks, and three ties. And Mark Johnson's team couldn't have asked for a better start. 23 seconds in, and Jesse Comfer lights the lamp to make it 1-0 Wisconsin. Now, Minnesota State would tie it up later in the period, but Bucky would answer in the second. Maddie Wheeler with the one-timer. Badgers won again 5-2 to two, the final. Wisconsin men taking on Minnesota in the border battle and this one all go first. Badgers fall 7-1 to in Minneapolis. Game two is tomorrow at 6 o'clock. And Keanu Benton will not be playing in the guaranteed rate bowl in a couple of weeks. The Janesville native announced he'll skip the bowl and turn his focus toward the NFL draft. Benton's final season was his best at Wisconsin, posting 35 tackles, 10 tackles for loss and four sacks all career highs for the Badger senior nose tackle. We're back after this. Happy holidays from our dwellings family to yours. Happy holidays. I became an orthopedic surgeon for a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. To help you take walks again. To ease your pain. To rebuild your strength. And at every step along the way, we take the time to answer all your questions. We're here because we care. We care about you. 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 They care about me. Sauk Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics, now offering robotic assisted knee replacement. Our biggest sale of the year is held over, so there's still time to get Black Friday deals during our huge Thanksgiving sale held over at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible prices, plus get 30% off on top of that store-wide. Get your final chance for Black Friday deals and 30% off? Yep, held over. And don't forget, mattress shopping is easy, fast, and comfortable at Slumberland. Come see our difference and get a great sale on a mattress today. 
<laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To your big promotion. Thanks. And to your new house. I know. What? I guess you had to move fast in this market. Right? Best thing I did was get a pre-approval from Summit. Once I knew my budget, I only looked at homes I could make a serious offer on. And how's construction going on your place? One month left. Must be stressful. Actually, no. I'm working with Summit, too, and they've been great about answering all my questions and guiding me along. It's been easy. Whether you're building or buying a home, Summit Credit Union is here to help. Save big during the hy -Vee Meat and Seafood Sale. Get 10% off all meat, seafood, deli meat in the full service case this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's right. Get 10% off all meat and seafood in the full service case. Steaks, chicken, salmon, shrimp, all cuts of meat, all fresh seafood. Plus, get 10% off all deli meat in the full service case. Don't miss the Meat and Seafood Sale. Three days only this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at hy -Vee. There's nothing to do. You should check out Ho Chunk Game in Madison, home with a 95% average payout. And with so many slot machines, there's a game for every kind of player. They're right, honey. And with new promotions and reward club perks all the time, there are more ways to win than ever before. Find your fun and visit Ho Chunk Gaming Madison today. Ho Chunk Gaming Madison. Now, what is happening? Welcome to Dwellings. Shop our fabulous showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. News 3 Now's 12 Days of Giving, presented by SSM Health. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Finally tonight, imagine juggling a soccer ball for 48 hours straight without sleep, all while taking care of your other daily needs, like eating, using the bathroom, and even brushing your teeth and shaving without letting that ball touch the ground. That's what the current record holder, Ricardo Neves, intends to do while in Qatar for the World Cup. On December 13th and 14th, Neves will aim to extend his current record of 34 hours and 5 minutes to, a round, to round up to 48 hours. Wow. I got enough things to juggle around <laughs> trying to keep a soccer ball off the ground. Yeah, well, have you taken a look at our weather? That's a lot to juggle. <laughs> yeah, some uh, fog out there now. Uh, f dense fog advisory west of the Mississippi River until 10 a.m. Uh, fog starting to thicken up across southern Wisconsin. And again, areas that are below freezing could also see some freezing drizzle. All right, thanks for joining us. Weekend morning starts at 5 a.m.